Blind Date with Carl Wayne. Carl Wayne reviews the singles of January 1967. Fantastic backing, can hear a sitar sound. Funny, it reminds me of John Layton all the time, I don't know why. It's like the stuff he used to do like Johnny Remember Me. It's vaguely reminiscent of the Stones as well. It won't be a hit. Is it Manfred Mann? Is it American? Paul Revere maybe? If it's American, they can do a good half-hour television series every Saturday. That's about all. No, take it off. It will probably get about six plugs on the radio and then die a terrible death. No doubt it will be a huge hit wherever the geezer lives but that's about it. It's something the Beatles might have done. Only, this is a thousand times worse. Horrible record. Terrible. Who is it? Phil Spector? No, don't put that down. Is it Spencer Davis? Great. I'm a great Spencer fan but I'm never entirely satisfied that what they write is always original. On this one, the main riff sounds very familiar. I don't think it will be as big as the last one. No, let me listen again. Okay, I've changed my mind. It's got to be a big hit. I think Stevie Winwood has got more into his octave lately, he's singing higher with more ease, and they are recording his voice a lot better. Yes, it will be a hit. Sonny and Cher, I always have a joke trying to sort out who's singing, and the way they're singing. I don't think this will be a hit, there isn't a strong commercial line. Maybe it will take off in the States but I don't think the British public will fall for it. Nice backing though. Like a lot of people, I prefer Cher on her own. Still, I guessed this one right, didn't I? Now this must be Twiggy. No, I don't like it, it sounds like a revival of Twinkle. I hope she's a better model than she is a singer. Birds who are fortunate enough to get to the top of a profession that is slightly connected with pop, then go and make bloody records. I'm sorry, her singing is terrible. I know who it is. It's Bo Diddley. Yeah, good old Bo. Actually, if I hadn't heard that Hey Bo Diddley bit, it could have been anyone from Ike and Tina, Charlie and Inez, or even Chuck Jackson and Maxine Brown. I'm fed up with this soul tag. Let's face it, if you feel what you're singing, you can call it soul. This type is all very much the same. A really good number comes out every now and again. But that's infrequent in relation to the number of soul records that are released. Nice guitar sound, but that's about all. This song might do well in the clubs because it's got a good dance beat, but I don't think it will do well on the chart. Is it Roy Head? Who is this? Proby? That's shocked me. He's my number one solo singer but this is a rotten number. I think that if he ever gets back into Britain and manages to get an agent to represent him, he could become enormous if he's a good boy and doesn't muck about. I prefer him when he sings deep. Proby has the talents to be a king among solo singers. There's no doubt that he's got the voice, but he's also got the front to go on stage and do whatever he wants and put on a great act. It's a cover of Backstreet Girl by The Stones. It's by Nicky Scott, isn't it? I read a review of this in another paper. I don't like it. It doesn't do anything for me. It makes me want to cry, but not cause it's sad. I've got to find well, yeah. Get back home to my baby. I know who this is, but I can't just think it sounds actually like Stevie Winwood again. There's also a bit of the temptations in there. I quite like this because it's in 3-4 time, which is a bit different. I don't think it'll be a hit though. It's not at all commercial, which I suppose is what we're here to discuss. Let me have a look at the label. Is that right? Jimmy James and the Vagabonds. I don't think this will be a hit for Jimmy though. They're a great group, tremendously exciting. It might linger in the low 40s.
Saturday night, is that what it's called? Is it Beverly? I don't like the singing, it's been underdone. I like the sound of those cellos though. Very very nice. The backing is great, it should have been an instrumental. I know who it is, I've just been prompted by my manager. It's dat underprivileged girl from the Oxfam advert, Julie Felix. I shouldn't have said dat because she said some nice things about the move on jukebox jury when we weren't even on. She's nice looking, not a hit. Are you joking, a Donovan song, he should stick to singing if this is what he's going to write. I can see the link between Julie and Donovan though. We've got a few numbers written by Don. They're better than this. 